company is a foam company at heart. We have a chemical division where we make polyols that are used for producing foam, a key ingredient of foam. And we have several divisions that uh, make foam for mattress industry, the bedding industry, the furniture industry, and um, a consumer division, of which I'm a part, that produces pillows, mattress pads, fiber beds. This is Mr. E.R. Carpenter. He actually started the company in his garage, like many other entrepreneurs, uh, making latex foam after World War II. And he saw foam as uh, the new and growing industry. And we've grown ever since into an international company. We're in six countries in Europe. We have 44 plants here in the U.S. and Canada, including 12 pouring plants. So it's, it's uh, become a large company that Mr. Carpenter started and has grown with uh, Mr. Pauly's direction. It's been great. Chiquita has been a great zipper supplier to us. They've been uh, good cost, good long term. I've been doing business with them four or five years since I've been to Indonesia. I am. The zippers have been great quality. The one, I guess, issue that I'd like to see more of are textile suppliers. The ones I've visited so far haven't been competitive in the fabrics that we use, and I'd like to find more that, uh, where we could find alternate sources of fabrics from Indonesia. Well, the strength is the stable government, stable economy, stable currency, and good quality suppliers. The suppliers we've used that we've looked at, and the, especially the zipper supplier, have been very reliable. The weaknesses might be certainly in the fabrics, finding a source that's competitive with what we need. I think Indonesian fabric suppliers are big in the uniform and apparel industry, mm -hmm. and they're not particularly interested in making simple things like pillow shells for us. I guess one would be the, um, the shipping. There, there isn't the volume of shipping that there are from other countries yet, and so you have uh, less weekly shipments coming from Jakarta, and apparently it's not as reliable because two out of three of our shipments get sidetracked or miss their connection. So a 30-day lead time becomes a 45 or 50-day lead time. So if anything, I'd like to see the shipping improved okay. to get more reliable lead time that equates, that, that's equal to what we can get now. Remarkable Indonesia. Take a look at us now.